The Trump administration is making changes to work requirements for people who receive food stamps. The order could end SNAP benefits for nearly 700,000 Americans. The USDA says the rule would save more than $5 billion over, the, over five years. Well, the idea is to get more people off welfare and into the workforce. Paul Nelson shows us how it could impact our area. Greets. Oh, okay, hold on, let me get you a bag. Catholic Charities gives food to about 15,000 people per month. Officials say most of them are the working poor who use food stamps but come here for additional help. And those SNAP benefits, it kind of frees up some of their income so that that way they can make their rent and not end up homeless. Then there's the so-called ABOD, able-bodied adults without dependents. The USDA says last year about 2.9 million of them received SNAP benefits. Nearly 75 percent don't have jobs. It hopes the new rule will encourage them to find work. U.S. Secretary of Agriculture Sonny Perdue said, quote, This rule lays the groundwork that able-bodied Americans re-enter the workforce where there are currently more job openings than people to fill them. The USDA says in 2000 the unemployment rate was 4 percent and about 17 million Americans received SNAP benefits. Today, the unemployment rate is 3.6 percent and the number of Americans using food stamps has more than doubled to 36 million. Current rules require this group to work at least 20 hours a week for more than three months over a three-year period. The new rule will limit states from waiving those requirements. Many say this change won't help people find work. It'll just take away their food stamps. Statewide, it could be, you know, upwards of 50,000. In the Washoe County area, it could be, you know, between five and 6,000. Some say those people could turn to food pantries like Catholic Charities, and not because they don't want to work. Sometimes it's transportation can be their biggest barrier. It can be that they have had some sort of an indiscretion in their past that is limiting their ability to get a sustainable job. Covering the story, Paul Nelson, 2 News. The Food Bank of Northern Nevada serves 91,000 people each month. It expects that number to go up when this rule takes effect April 1st.